Welcome. In this video, I want to determine the inverse of the 3x3 three three matrix. And the question is determine the inverse of uh, the matrix M, where matrix M is uh, this particular uh, matrix with these entries. So the inverse of the matrix M, uh, sometimes uh, denoted as M to the power negative 1, or just M inverse is equal to 1 of a determinant and multiplied by the add uh, joint matrix. Now this add joint matrix, add joint of M is equal to the transpose of the matrix of cofactors. So uh, cofactors of M uh, transpose. The add joint matrix of M is equal to uh, the transpose of uh, the matrix of cofactors of M. We'll, we'll see the procedure for that. So first we need to find the determinant. Then we find the adjoint matrix, which we'll find by transposing the matrix of cofactors of M. So the first step, we are going to find the determinant. In the previous video, I showed you how to find the determinant using the rule of Sargas, but uh, in this one, I'll use a different approach. But the answer will be the same. So when you look at say, these uh, rows and columns, you can pick whichever you want to use to uh, for you to find the determinant. So I'll say let me use the first uh, row here. So if I try to use the first row, determinant will be equal to. I'll factor out one. If I factor out one, I'll try to delete. Uh, the, the, the row for one and the column for one. So if I delete, I'll remain, I'll remain with this, I'll remain with one, six, uh, two, and five. Again, I'll come to negative three, negative three. Then I'll try to, uh, to eliminate the column and the row for negative three. I'll remain with four, two, 0 and a 5. Then plus, I'll factor out negative 2. Then I'll eliminate the row for negative 2 and the column. So column, this one, the row is that one. So I'll remain with 4, 1 and 0. Then here 6. So now we we have now to find the determinants here, then multiply with that. But then we have to look at these. Uh, here, they should be negative 1 to the power uh, row plus column. So here it is row number 1, column number 1. So it will be 1 plus 1, 2. Negative 1 to the power 2 here, it will be positive. Then at this position, we have column number 2 and row number 1, so it will be 3 there. Negative 1 to the power 3 will get negative. So in other words, this, this position is positive, this is negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, and so on and so forth. So this position is negative, that's why we introduce this negative. Now we can find our determinant. Determinant is equal to uh, 1 multiplied by this multiplied by that, we get uh, the major diagonal product minus the minor diagonal product. That's the determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix. So it would be 5 multiplied by 1, we get uh, 5. 5 minus uh, 12, we get negative uh, 7. We come here, this would be plus 3. This would be 20. 20. Minus 0, we get 20. Then here we're going to have minus, we're going to have minus 2. This multiplied by that, we get uh, 24. If we try to work out this determinant, we are going to get, this multiplied by that, we get negative 7 plus 60. That multiplied by that, we get uh, negative 
uh, 48, which will give us the determinant. If we try to have that, we are going to get 5. So determinant is equal to 5. All right. Now, the next thing is to find the adjoint uh, matrix, matrix. So adjoint matrix, where we are, we are going to, we come at this position, we eliminate uh, the row and the column, we remain with that. So uh, we go to first the matrix of four factors, because we know that adjoint is equal to a transform of the matrix of four factors of M. So first we have to find the matrix of four factors. So this matrix is equal to going to have something like this. So when we eliminate this, we eliminate that, we get this. So we come at this position, we eliminate its row and its column. We're going to remain with uh, one, two, six, and five. We come at this position. We eliminate its uh, uh, column and its row. We remain with uh, uh, 4, 2, 0, 5. Then we come at this position. We eliminate its column and its row. We are going to remain with uh, uh, 4, 1, 0, and 6. Again, we do the next, uh, we do the same thing for the other entries. We come on four, we do the same. Then on that one, we'll do the same. We'll do the same also. Then for the last uh, row, we are going to do the same. So if I come on four, I will eliminate the column and the row. So I'll remain with negative three, negative two, uh, six, and five. I come here, I will eliminate the row and the column, then we are going to have 1, negative 2, 0, 5. I will come to this.